Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coach, thank you. We are over 4,000 miles away from where you're seated in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England, and Wembley Stadium. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one, between the Madden Legends and the Madden Elites. This will be taken in at the wall, and he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. When you think about big-time middle linebackers, you do think about the strength and the force that they play with, as we just saw there from Brian Urlacher. But what an athlete. Remember, he was a safety in college at the University of New Mexico. And in the NFL Defensive Player of the Year back in 05, also Bears all-time leading tackle, almost 1,800 of them. Now Brady, he gets it to Gurley, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so, and gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it, and really gets them amped up as they go forward. They go play action here on first down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. On the counter, here's Bell. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll go as a loss of five. And it'll make this a second and long. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run on second down here's brady the catch made by deandre hopkins and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line and they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Shotgun now for Brady. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing on first down is Brady. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Todd Gurley, and that'll bring up second down. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Hey, 
Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. By 20. to throw again, Brady. And this is caught, first catch for Keenan Allen. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. This will be their first trip to the red zone. First and 10 right at the 20. A give to Bell. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. On second down, it's Bell. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing, and I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Play action, now it's Brady. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And this results in six. Touchdown. Well, it was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. No, well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. Morton Anderson now for the extra point. Extra point by Anderson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. One quarter down, 7-0 is our score. We're back to historic London, England right after this. Back here with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We've had the kickoff to begin the first quarter. Now it's time for the second quarter kickoff, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. Anderson now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Madden Elite's heading back onto the field and following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, Let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. 
I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. The give is to Bounds. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. That's how the Pro Bowl guard from Notre Dame, Zach Martin. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. What a spin. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Heading out for their first possession. Here come the Madden legends. Leading this crew out is their electrifying signal caller. Seven-time Pro Bowler, two-time NFL MVP. You all know him, Steve Young. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A nice catch there by Jerry Rice. And when you look at the yardage he compiled in his NFL career, it seems staggering at 22,985 yards. But let's put a little context with it. Yeah, we ran the numbers earlier. Larry Fitzgerald, who was contemplating retirement this past offseason, would need seven more 1,000-yard seasons to break Jerry Rice's record. That's context. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Young with the give to Sanders. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I saw Von Miller in college at Texas A&M, and all I kept hearing about was his speed off the edge to the quarterback. But what impressed me, his balance and his ability to take on blocks and be a force in the run game, as we just saw there. To throw on second down is Young. He goes full extension, and he's got it. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. <laughs> you, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. 
But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On is the Hall of Famer, Ray Guy, to punt this away on fourth down. Back deep, Antonio Brown. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. The Madden Elite's offense trotting out again. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, OK, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. They'll start with Hunt on the ground, and he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Ray Lewis up from his linebacker spot to make the play. I think when people start talking about the greatest Ravens of all time, Ray Lewis's name comes up pretty fast, doesn't it? Tackles like that, just the tip of the iceberg when you start to talk about his talents. He was their second pick after the move to Baltimore. What was that, 96? Yeah, 1996. Jonathan Ogden was the first. And Ray Lewis also two-time Super Bowl champion and the MVP of Super Bowl 35. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauden. Back to the ground, this time with Bell. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now a play fake, Brady. And he's got a man open, that's Allen. A really nice gain of 25 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. On play action, now Brady. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Brady now on first down, and it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. 
Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Brady now on first down. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Brady's got his guys first and 10. And he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. 20, 20. Again, it's Brady. Dumps it off to Gurley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. First down now, but that clock rolling. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the Hall of Famer, Ronnie Lott. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. They run with a Hall of Famer, Sanders. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a hard-fought battle to this point. 7-0 is the score, with neither offense really able to get on track. 
but let's not waste any time. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Madden legends heading back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. On the carry, here's Sanders. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Hurry up, here we go. Here's Steve Young on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here we go now. Boom, right Now here's Young. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Rice. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term got to make completion step up and make those throws and he did that now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half they were able to get the stop defensively now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three they can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now the offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. And they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. 20. 
Now Brady. It's caught. Jones. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And until that point, we haven't seen Julio Jones. That's hard to believe here this late in the game. And no one more frustrated than Julio Jones because receivers feed off of catches. That's their fuel, and that's also their affirmation. And he hasn't been getting much of that in this game, and their team is losing, and he wants to have a better effect on the game. Just the first connection, Ryan to Jones there. On first down, Brady. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They'll run it with Bell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. From the gun, it's Brady. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Back onto the field comes the offense for the Madden Legends. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. This is Sanders. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. The all-pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here's a second and five now from the 25. On second down, Young. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. With it is Brown. A good return there, 17 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Wait, 
They'll try and get the running game going with Bell. <laughs> and they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Welcome back now here in London as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On first and ten, here's Brady. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. A good pick up there of 20 yards. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the, the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Brady. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. By 20! Blue 20! Pulling on first down is Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Wait 20! Wait 20! Shotgun now for Brady. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Now Brady got to have this one. And no, it's incomplete. The you know, fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. The Madden Legends offense trotting out again. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end and you still have the lead from the 24 they'll go again on second and 10 they'll run with Barry Sanders and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings up third down and this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. 
Young to throw it. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. So they bring out their putter. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now Brown. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And the Madden Elite's offense coming back on the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Brady again here on second and 10. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. But thankfully, this is corralled by the offense, so they will, in fact, hold on to the football. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he is going to get this one back to the 20 yard line. Allen, the intended receiver, scoring has really been at a premium. And Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. And their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game, as you noted. Hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. Out now come the legends. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one possession game. This one not fully over yet. Young here to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. 10, 3, 19, 3, 19. Now Young. Forced out to his left. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Now, defensively here, we're going to get a timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down.
and they'll go with a ground attack here. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now here's Whistles and another timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. The career leader in field goals made knocks that one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. After the main field goal, Anderson back out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Now Brady. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Back to throw, Brady. Man open left side is Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They call it a gain of 19 and it moves the chains. Brady to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Bruce Smith in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. And with just over 40 seconds now remaining, he gets up and spikes it. This offense so far on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and forever. By 20! By 20! To throw is Brady. He's going to let it fly. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw, deep depth, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Deion Sanders, the Hall of Famer with a pick, and this one will be brought back to the 22. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make, and I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one.
The Madden Legends heading back onto the field. Only one timeout defensively, so this should just be a simple kneel down. I agree totally. I looked at my time management chart. It says, take a knee, victory formation. They just have one timeout left, and that should be all, all she wrote. By the way, it's a good thing you can read that because nobody else can. <laughs> not with my chicken scratch, not at all. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Young's going to take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but, hey, all they needed was... Uh, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Uh, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three, and they got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. Well, the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say cheerio from London.